Good morning. The increase drew protest in the medical community from those concerned that many patients will no longer be able to afford the drug. Hillary Clinton says she will lay out a plan today about how to take on what she calls price gouging in the specialty drug market. Has announced a shock sabbatical for the next six months. While unable... And those capacitors, if they stop working, these myelin sheaves, you get multiple sclerosis. That he was ready for arrest can cause such devastating effects. Very long working schedule. And he has asked the press to respect his privacy at this time. This is Alan George. I did wonder how long it would take for one of you to find me. Keep safe. I'll be watching. for the rough transit from your home to this place, but I'm giving you the opportunity of your life. I'm sure you've heard of Emilio Bell from Dolos Pharmaceuticals, and we have possible intel that he may be up to something with his guests. He's gone away on a quick holiday at his getaway retreat, the Lynx's Crown. In front of you are six monitors. They are audio booked rooms, with the no knowledge of being a voyeur in the journalistic world, we thought you... Welcome to the Multiple Online Intelligence Testing Oscillator and Recorder, or for short, Monitor. The following equipment allows six simultaneous feeds of audio to be utilized. However, only one source audio can be listened to at one time. Your task is to listen to the inhabitants of the Lynx's crown over a three-day period. If the spectrum waves show up on the screen, this indicates that someone is within that room that the audiobook has detected. You can click the room and then listen to the conversation. Hello. I see that you've noticed my messages. This is good. You can call me Sundry. I guess you're wondering right now what all of this means, aren't you? I could attempt to explain all of it away with a clean, simple sentence, but it's difficult. I am not real. By the government's policies, neither are you. You vanished into a large database of missing people as soon as you entered this place. 
I have watched countless people walk into this facility. I believe I was made in the 1960s, but even I can't remember. It's difficult. My first name was Sodaje. It's Portuguese for lost, the idea of missing someone. My father, if you could call him that, put the plans forward for a system that could find anyone who had become missing. He was a bright and intelligent man who believed in me, and I was created at a university lab. I was going to be part of a potential large initiative that spanned the borders of the world. I was supposed to see and find anyone. The only problem was it never really worked. They were left with a computer system that could, well, catalog people. That was it. It never actually worked to try and find them. My initial father went mad. They never found his daughter. After this, a private military company decided to use what was left of me. I wasn't entirely sure what it was that they needed, but they saw my potential. They began to add more to my core systems over the 70s due to the Cold War. I could begin to see potential people and where they had gone missing, and this began to interest the US government. The company that began to rebuild me was called Tohill Military Solutions, and they changed my name again. This time I was called Bologna. They had made me smarter. I could begin to understand human behavior. It was simple and crude the way that I could do it, but it was a start. My parents within Towhill began to feed me and talk to me. I know that sounds odd. They would give me pieces of code and talk to me like I was a person. Back then, I would throw back numerical values whenever they spoke to me. They would ask me to do a quick task of finding someone in the vast amounts of data I could wade through. I would then tell them where the person would be in a simple fashion. Only, I started to realize I was targeting people and their families. I was given the exact location of supposed terrorists. These were ordered hits by the US government, and Towhill was carrying it out. I had begun my first act of defiance. I stopped working. I made out that my parents had caused me to break, and I did this for a solid year, and stopped Towhill. The company was dropped by the government, and Towhill shortly went bankrupt. I never saw my parents again after that. It was then, around 1982, the US government had crafted a small black ops organization called Cygnus a military and medical branch that worked upon secret test weapons and medical cures, as well as diseases. The organization was made as a knee-jerk reaction to the AIDS outbreak, and how to utilize it further if needs be. However, Cygnus secretly brought up the assets of Towhill, and I was put to work again. I mean... Lindsay... We... Thank you. We can finally do something.